Hey there, two new features in Microsoft Forms that I want to show you. First of all, the ability to import a quiz or a form from an existing Word or PDF document. So we've all got them, we've got uh, Word documents that have got uh, quizzes on them and we can now import these directly into Microsoft Forms. So for example, let's just do this one here, really simple one. We've got two math questions with uh, A, B, C, D answers here, okay? So this is the form. Uh, that I'm going to import into here, okay? So let's go quick import, so at the top here, I'm not gonna go new quiz, new form, I'm gonna go quick import, and it's gonna go upload from this device. We've got a limit of 10 megabytes. I am going to go and find that document. There it is, quiz example, open that, and ask me if I want it as a form or a quiz. In this case, it's gonna be a quiz, so I can say which is the correct answer, etc. So going to go quiz and then it's going to convert that and make it into a Microsoft form. Convert it successfully. So we go start review and you can see it has imported these nicely exactly as I had in my uh, Word document. I can then say which one is the correct answer. I have no idea. I am guessing here. So let's go that one. Yep. So now it knows which one is the correct answer. I'll just say that both of those questions are required and then I can preview and see what my quiz looks like. Yeah, and this will automatically grade, of course. Students will get feedback straight away that they have done the quiz, they've got the questions right or wrong, okay? So uh, yes, point values as well. So I could say this one is worth one point and this one here is worth one point. So my quiz is now out of two. Excellent. And of course, I can change the theme and make it look really cool as well in the background there. Um, so that's the first thing, importing from a PDF or a Word document, previous quizzes that you had in those formats, getting them into Microsoft Forms and heaps of advantages now, because now I can go collect responses, copy this link, and then I can give it to students. And they are off and running doing this quiz and they can get feedback straight away. So let's get these two correct, submit and I can view my results and see that I got two out of two. Excellent. All right, so that is the first thing. The second thing that I wanted to show you is over here in the settings, you can now do time duration for forms. That is pretty cool. So I can say that you have got two minutes to do this form. So, you know, all of these options here are really good to look at in forms. Um, Show results automatically. Yep, that's really good. Only people in my organization. Let's record their name. You notice I haven't got a question saying, what's your name? Because that automatically will come because they're logged in. Accept responses. We could have a start date and an end date. We can even do a time. So we can say, this quiz opens at, uh, you know, four o'clock and it closes at five o'clock. And they've only got two minutes within that time to do the quiz. So you've got some really cool options there, All right? Excellent. So click responses. Let's copy that. Let's jump in. Now it should let me do this. This is a time for form. And once I start, I've got two minutes. Click to start. All right, so I'm off and running. And you can see that there's a timer at the top here and a little countdown thing that's kind of giving me the pressure of how long I've got. Extremely handy if you're wanting to run a quiz that is a timed format. All right, so imagine you've got a quiz, 30 questions, you want to give students 30 minutes to get the answer. They have to do it like this, and they've only got 30 minutes to do it. And I don't know what's going to happen in two minutes. When time runs out, I will not be able to submit the form. Okay, so that is two new options there for Microsoft Forms. One, importing existing PDFs or Word documents, and two, being able to use timed questions in forms.